What's going on, Muscle Monsters? Alain Gonzalez here, and in this video, I am talking to you, the naturally skinny guy who's looking to gain muscle fast. Today, I wanna share a very simple workout plan for skinny guys. So again, if you're a naturally skinny guy who struggles to gain weight and build muscle, then I want you to follow this training program for at least the next eight to 12 weeks. So first things first, all right, we're not gonna be in the gym curling in the squat rack or looking at ourselves in the mirror as we pump up our biceps. We are going to be focusing on overall mass. So that means that we have to hit all of the major muscle groups, right? We gotta hit the chest, the shoulders, the arms, the back, and the legs. The beautiful thing is, is that because you're skinny, right, you're a beginner or you're new to training, okay? So you don't need as much volume per muscle group as a more intermediate or advanced trainee. Another thing is, is that because the intensity isn't so high yet, you're gonna be able to recover from training uh, pretty quickly. So you're not gonna need to wait a few days before, you know, or between squatting, for example. In fact, we have plenty of research showing that the more frequently we hit a muscle group, the faster or more efficient we become at recovery. And that's obviously to a degree, but training with, for example, a full body workout three times a week is not going to be excessive. Again, because number one, you're not gonna need to hit each muscle group with tons of volume. And number two, because we're not training with such a high intensity that we need more time to recover. So for you, I want you to focus on four to six key movements and no more than that, okay? And these four to six key movements are going to ensure that we're hitting the entire body, all the muscle groups that we just discussed. And if you truly are a naturally skinny guy who's just starting out, this is going to be more than enough. So the first one is a vertical push something like a bench press. This is gonna take care of the triceps, the front delts, and the chest. The next one is a horizontal push. Okay, so maybe something like an overhead press. Again, this is gonna hit the upper chest. It's gonna hit your uh, front and mid delts, right? Uh, it's also going to even hit your traps and you're gonna get some eccentric tension on, on the negative too. The next thing we want is a horizontal and a vertical pull. So for your horizontal pull, uh, I would suggest something like a bent barbell row. This is gonna allow you to hit your biceps and your back, uh, the entire back that is, uh, with one movement. Okay, that's also going to take care of your rear delts. So if you notice, we've already covered the entire shoulder front, mid, and rear. We got the whole chest, right? With the bench press, we got the pec major. With the overhead press, we got the upper pec. We're already hitting the arms whenever we're pushing and pulling. For the vertical pull, I would recommend a pull up or a lat pull down. Again, this is going to further stimulate the biceps, the rear delts, and the back. Now, here's the thing. If you wanna go with all six, that's totally fine, but if you wanted to do maybe four to five of these exercises instead, one that I would remove if I had to would in fact be the pull-up, right? Because with the pull-up, we're um, hitting muscles that we've already pretty much hit with the bent row. The only benefit to the pull-up, aside from you know the additional core uh, stability, is that with the pull-ups, you're gonna get more lat activation. But again, because you are a beginner, right, the um, stimulus you're getting from the bent rows is going to be more than enough to bring up those lats. The next thing we need is a lower body push. So in this case, I would recommend the king of all lower body exercises, the squat. The squat's gonna hit your quads, it's also gonna hit your hamstrings, and your glutes and your calves. So lastly, we're gonna do a lower body pull. Now again, similar to um, the upper body pulling, we don't need both of the lower body movements, okay? If 
you wanted to, you could actually choose one over the other in the beginning. Now, eventually you want to incorporate both just for more volume um, and just, you know, for more stimulus, uh, more direct stimulus on certain muscles, for example, the, the, the hamstrings or the glutes, um, but you don't need them both right away. So if you would prefer going with the squat over the deadlift, which by the way is the lower body pull, uh, then do that. If you prefer to deadlift, then, then do that. I personally would recommend the squat. I just feel like you're gonna get better lower body or overall lower body development if you did the squat versus the deadlift, but either one is going to be fine. So choose um, you know, four to six of those exercises, preferably all six. Uh, worst case, you know, four, maybe your bench press, overhead press, um, barbell row, and squat. And then what I want you to do is I want you to get into the habit of going to the gym regularly, at least three days a week, and practicing these lifts. Get really good at these lifts to number one, avoid injury, but number two, so that you can focus on the main thing that's going to put mass on your frame, and that is strength, or getting stronger at each one of these lifts. If you can consistently get stronger at each one of these exercises, your body will have no choice but to build new muscle tissue in order to support that strength, right? In order to support the new weight that you're lifting. But the best way to get stronger is to first learn the lifts. So take some time, learn the lifts, become efficient at those lifts, and then start adding weight to the bar. And progressively, just get stronger. If you can do this for three days a week, for eight to 12 weeks, you're going to see some massive improvements in your physique. All right, now, with that said, you probably still have a ton of questions. How much should I rest? How much should I eat? How many sets? How many reps? And the list goes on. Here's what I wanna do for you. I wanna give you my entire 90-day blueprint for gaining muscle, and this is specifically for skinny guys. Check this out. My book, Bulk Up Fast, is free at the moment. So if you wanna claim your free copy, what I need you to do is click the link in the description, go there, tell me where to send it, and just cover the shipping. I've already paid for the book. All you have to do is cover the shipping, and I'll ship it anywhere in the world. So do that now. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.